In this video, we will explain the features and basic operation of the Rad Rover electric bike. For additional information, visit radpowerbikes.com or refer to your owner's manual. The first feature that grabs the attention of everyone you pass by is the large, 4-inch wide Kenda tires. Rad Rovers also come equipped with a suspension fork to soak up the roughest terrain. The drivetrain utilizes a brushless geared hub motor integrated into the rear wheel of the bike with great climbing torque and freewheel efficiency when pedaling. Stopping is accomplished with confidence using the dual mechanical disc brakes and the 7-speed Shimano drivetrain means you will always be in the right gear when you decide to pedal. The long life 48 volt 11.6 amp hour Samsung lithium battery pack is housed in this removable locking battery case. To turn on the battery pack, simply depress the power button. Charge your portable electronics using the supplied 5 volt USB outlet. Or check the level of charge with this additional LED battery gauge. For greater convenience, the battery can be charged on or off the bike. The large LCD display is controlled using a remote switch and shows a variety of details including speed, watts, distance, assistance level, and a battery gauge. In the five pedal assist modes, the bike matches and boosts the user's pedal input to help you up small hills or make you feel like Superman. You can also use the provided twist grip throttle for power on demand. The no-slip aluminum Welgo pedals give users confidence at speed and a quick release seat post allows for easy removal and adjustment. Be seen and always have light for the path ahead with the included LED headlight powered directly from the main battery pack. Never replace batteries again. Complete the Rad Rover weighs in at just 61 pounds. For more information, go to radpowerbikes.com and subscribe to our channel.
I was sick at the time and I was on crutches and I saw an electric bike, uh, which was $4,000 electric bike. And I said, with all my manufacturing background experience, I could really redesign this bike and, and engineer certain aspects of this bike in a way where it could become affordable to everyone. Uh, that's how it all began. bike's got thumb throttles, so you just push down on it and you go. You can ride a full electric or use the pedal assist. If you want to give yourself a little bit more exercise, you ride with pedal assist. If you want to just go pure electric, you go pure electric. Not needing to pedal all the time and just being able to just zip along at uh, 20 miles per hour speed. Just the whole idea that you can ride these long distances with pretty effortlessly is an amazing aspect of e-bike. So you can really use it for a short hops, you know, to, to work or to store or to go to a coffee shop. Th that's the future, you know, where people will be more conscious and aware of the fact that there's alternative to their vehicles. On our previous crowdfunding campaign, we had a tremendous success. We raised over $6 million. We sold bike to 67 countries worldwide. I can't thank enough our early backers and people who believed in me and in what I was building for them. So uh, it's the most humbling experience ever. And just to have this kind of support uh, from the communities is a tremendous honor to experience. And I just can't wait to grow uh, that base with this new campaign. This is the last run of bikes we're going to do for 2015, so if you would like to get your hands on one, please go to campaign page and reserve a bike for yourself. <laughs>